tow truck driver who was shot and killed while doing his job. Stephen Hughes will be laid to rest tomorrow. He would have turned 47 years old yesterday. <laughs> What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Ron on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button for me whenever you pull up to the channel. And while you at it, hit that post notification button for your boy so whenever I drop, you can hop up in the truck and roll with me. See what's poppin'. Alright fam, I see y'all up in here today. How y'all doing? It's the middle of the week, you hear me? We getting it done, we getting it done, so we ain't doing no tripping. Alright, today, we got some pretty good stories for you today. But before we get to them, we'll be right back after these messages. What's up, M2T fam? Merch is available now. We have styles for the men and the ladies. Visit our catalog and check out our inventory. What you waiting for? Go to MarriedToTrucking.store Alright, truckers. Y'all know we all out here. We watching our backs every day. We got lot builders. We got robbers. We got all kind of people that's on our bumper. You know, we, we constantly have, We even have to watch out for the police department these days. They even on our bumper. They even doing foul stuff like they did that stuff to our sister. You know, so we got her constantly watching our backs. Well, we're not the only ones that have to do that as far as this industry. Tow truck drivers also have to do that. So today, this is going to be another special report. Except for this one, it's going to be about our little brothers, our little cousin, the tow truck drivers. All right? Tow truck drivers, their job is just as dangerous as ours, M2T. We can't take nothing from them. They out here picking up trucks, going into people's houses and yards, you know, jobs, you know. Following people, you know, they, they doing it. They out here hustling just like we are. You know what I mean? And they get put in compromising positions just as we do. Matter of fact, it's my personal opinion that tow truck drivers, they jobs, especially the residential ones, their jobs is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more dangerous to be in fact, it's my opinion, than ours are. Now, if you don't agree with that, get in the comments and let me know. Get in the comments. Who, who, who job is more dangerous? A residential tow truck driver or just us, us regular drivers that's pulling up to companies and picking up stuff and dropping it out? Get in the comments and let me know. Say, for instance, we covered a story when a tow truck driver was murdered. You know, they shot him all up in Florida. You know, we don't even know what went on with that case. You know what I mean? Was it a, we know that they fired dozens and dozens and dozens of rounds into his truck. Well, we don't know this, but we feel like it was either a deal gone bad or either a love triangle because the very next day after they murdered him, they murdered another young lady. They pulled up on her at the stoplight and, and abducted her and they found her murdered the next day. So was it a love triangle or was it, did he tow the wrong car or what? So if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. The link will be in the description box below. We also covered another story where a trucker went up into a residence, and this too was in Florida. Went into a residence, went to connect to a car, and the resident came running out of his house. Boom! Beef for the truck driver. Beef for the tow truck driver. While he was sitting in his truck, ran to his garage, got his firearm, Dozens of rounds was off into this truck. I had to tow truck driver all on the phone with 911 hollering and screaming, begging for his life, begging for somebody to get there to help him. If you ain't seen that video, go check that one out. The link will be in the description box below. And just recently, June the 5th, over in, in Crestwood, Illinois, a tow truck driver get into an accident with a four wheeler. They, they having words, they both pull over. Soon as they pull over at a tire shop, they both hop out pulling their weapons. Shots wrong out. 
Unfortunately, on that incident, the tow truck driver didn't make it. And we want to send our condolences to him and his family. You know, which brings us up to our story today. June 12, early, early morning, we night hours. A tow truck driver went and attempted to pull into a resident, went to attempt to snatch up the, snatch up the car, and out of nowhere, Shots being run, got rounds flying everywhere. One, two, three in the morning. Check this out. People who live along Fairmont Drive were caught off guard early Wednesday morning when they heard gunfire and then saw deputies swarm their neighborhood. South Carolina Sheriff's Department, get back in the house. So I heard back in the house. He didn't have to tell me twice. Wednesday afternoon, 20-year-old Raheem Jackson was in front of a judge after Richland County deputies say he shot and killed a tow truck driver who was sent to repossess his car. 46-year-old Stephen Hughes was killed. Deputies say there are several bullet holes in one of the truck's doors when they got to the scene early Wednesday morning. It's awful. It's awful. I, I'm hoping our elected officials will do something about the revolving door because they, they arrest them and they take, put them in jail and they, they'll be out a couple hours on the on a little bond. That will not be the situation in this particular case. A judge did not set bail on Wednesday. Raheem Jackson will remain at the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center until his next court date. 19-year-old Essence Jackson was arrested and charged with murder this morning. Her brother, 20-year-old Raheem Jackson, was arrested and charged with murder last week. The siblings are charged in the death of 46-year-old Steve Hughes. Sad, sad, sad situation, m 2 team. And this happened in Richley County, South Carolina. We want to send our condolences to that tow truck driver family and let them know that our prayers and our thoughts are with you guys. There's a report that's done on this. And you know the report, it kind of gives us a little bit more information about what went on. So we want to just check out the report real quick, right? And boom, y'all see that? All right, team, her brother charged with murder after tow truck driver was murdered in South Carolina. A second person was arrested following the recent shooting shooting death of a tow truck driver, according to the Richmond County Sheriff's Department. Essence Jackson's 19, was charged with murder Monday. The Sheriff's Department said in a news release, her brother, 20-year-old Raheem Jackson, was also charged with murder when he was arrested June 12, according to the release. That's the same day that 46-year-old Lexington resident Stephen Hughes was murdered in the early morning shooting. The Richmond County Coroner's Office said the shooting happened in the 7200 block of Fry Monroe. The Sheriff's Department said this that's in Columbia, near the intersection with uh, Leesburg Road, not far from Exit 9 on Interstate 77. The shooting was a result of a towing company repossessing a vehicle, according to the release. No other, no other injuries was reported. Raheem Jackson was also charged with possession of a firearm during a violent crime. Members of the Sheriff's Department attempted to serve a search warrant and arrest warrant on Essence Jackson's residence on Monday morning, but she was not home, according to the release. She was located at a secondary location a short time later and was taken into custody without further incident, the Sheriff's Department said. No bond has been set for either Essence or Raheem Jackson, and both are being held in the Alvin Glenn Detention Center jail record show. That's the report, you guys. Everything I say after this is allegedly, okay? It's my opinion. This driver was doing what we do out here every day. He just out there doing his job, man. Just like the UPS worker was. What an idiot's run up in his truck after they tried to rob the jury store and end up losing his life. We send our, our prayers and our condolences to his family. This guy's out here doing what he's, what he's been paid to do. To go pick up a car that you probably ain't paid no car no. Now let's put up these idiots. Boom. Look at them. Now this is a 19 and a 20 year old. Life is gone. They out of there. This man doing his job. Now they, I don't know what they think. They thinking they watching Grand Theft Auto or playing the PlayStation or something. But that's what's going on in our American society today. These young kids is running around with these firearms. And they thinking they on these damn games playing. And now they done took this man away from his family, man. A hard working brother. And then ruined their life. So now we got to ask ourselves. 
what are we to do, you know, as a community? You know, do we all need to start caring women? Because I'm going to tell you, had it been me, you know, I, I, I got to stay ready, you know. I'm getting back at you, you know, because I got to get back home to my wife. I got to get back home to my daughters, to my family, you know, at least have a fighting chance. So that's why I say I feel like, in my opinion, that these tow truck drivers jobs is way more dangerous than ours, especially the ones that's going to go pick up these residentials. They need weapons or they need a, a, a police escort or something. That's my opinion. Get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Also, who was the one that shot? Was it the was it the brother or was it the sister? You know, because they seem like they got him right then. You know, they got him right then at that residence. They caught her a couple of days later at a whole nother residence. But as y'all can see, they, they hit both of them with the murder charge, you know. But y'all see his big ass up in there looking like he hungry. Look like he waiting on them stale bologna sandwiches for him to bring them. And they ain't gonna give him number one in a couple of them duplex cookies. That don't, don't look like he go. It look like he, he probably end up saying the sister done it so his big buck can get up out of there. He can eat. Because he out of there. Walking around in the cage looking like a damn fool. And the sister put herself in that position. It's crazy, M2T. It's crazy, man. Very messed up situation. Cold, cold, cold situation. We have a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. It seems that they was living together at their residence. You know, we got to do something about these young kids having these weapons in their hands like this. You know, we, we got to get in there and vote. We got to do what we got to do, man, because America... America is, 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 is in a state of destruction, especially when it comes to our youth, to our young adults. You got 12 and 13 year olds running around here with handguns, man. You can't even, you can't even look at a kid wrong these days. You don't know what that kid got in that backpack. So I want y'all to get in these comments and let me know what y'all think about this video. Again, it was a special report, man, because I just felt like we needed to pay our homage to our tow truck driver brothers like we do every now and then. And, um... We just want our tow truck brothers to know over here, married the truck, and we with y'all. We ain't doing no tripping. We with y'all. We go bring awareness to y'all as well, just like we do our community. So, big shout out to all the subscribers. I appreciate y'all, M2T. A1 Day Ones, I see y'all pull up. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all keeping it 100 with you, boy. Once that glance in, you know what I'm saying? Just to pull up the guests, I appreciate y'all as well. Uh, a special shout out to the new subscribers Man, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for the love I appreciate that support Y'all just don't know So we on our way to that 10,000 We go party, we go go live Man, we go do our built one, you hear me But we'll talk about it a little bit more Once we get a little closer And if you haven't, go over to Crime She Wrote I've got to tell y'all that at the beginning Go to Crime She Wrote and check it out you know what I mean? Miss M2T doing her big one over there. You know what I'm saying? She doing her, her big, big, big one over there. <laughs> All right, you guys. Go check out Crime She Wrote, man. It's, it's, Y'all gonna like it, I promise you. All right? All right, you guys. Until next time. It's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around. Hey, jewelry moving like juice. I'm gonna go to the